Hi boys and girls, it's our last day together with social studies and um, we've been talking about our community helpers and our community and hopefully you've all figured out yesterday that Randolph is a suburban community. So not quite a city, not quite farmlands, but like an in-between type of community. You have lots of stores that you can go to. Some of you may be able to walk. Most of you probably need to drive to get to the stores. I'm um, sure you have neighbors, but many of you probably also have lawns and grass areas where you can play. Um, so Randolph is a suburban community. All right, so today I want you, now that you know all about different types of communities, I want you to think about if you could make your own town or your own community, what would you have in it? What would be your ideal community? And um, today your task is going to be to make a map of your ideal community. Um, so what type of places would you like to see outdoors in your community and also indoors? What kind of buildings and stores and things like that? I would really like you to include a legend in your map using symbols as well as a compass rose. And these are two things that you learned about last week with Mrs. Ziegelstein. The legend uses symbols to tell what things are in your map. And the compass rose tells you which direction is north, east, west, and south. So those are two things you can add to your map. Um, so I was thinking about my town, which is not too far away from Randolph and is also a suburban community. And I was trying to think of some things I would love to see in my town to make it an ideal community. And um, I thought of three, three ideas. You're more than welcome to use my ideas, but if you do, I'd like you to also come up with some of your own because I want you to make your ideal community and not just my ideal community. Um, so the first thing I thought was a movie theater would be nice to have in our town. We have some nearby, but not right in our town. Um, the next thing I really thought would be neat is a trolley car. So if you've ever watched Daniel Tiger, you know that they jump on the trolley car to go all different places in town. And I thought that would be kind of fun to have in town instead of driving my own car around. Um, and the last thing is, is something I've seen in different towns when I've gone on vacation and it's called a pedestrian only street. So it means that there's a street where no cars are allowed to go, it's just for people to walk, and these streets are usually lined with t stores and restaurants. So it's really nice, I love to go shopping, you can stop in all the stores and walk around and not worry about um, looking both ways for cars as you're doing that. Um, so those are some things I thought of, and I'm looking forward to seeing your maps and hearing about what kinds of things you would have in your ideal community. Have fun with this, get creative, and enjoy your weekend. Bye.